First of all, I can't believe it every time I say it. It's just you and Wayne Gretzky now, one and two, all time for goals. Where are your emotions right now in this great chase? I still like, you know, uh, it's hard to believe uh, since day one. Like nobody thought like somebody gonna be uh, scored 800. But uh, yeah, right now it's a uh, pretty good company. It's nice to be out there. And uh, I always say like, we'll see what's gonna happen. Obi, take us back to that night in Chicago. You scored 24 seconds in. Did you feel this that was going to be a special night for you? Not really. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, uh, to be honest, you, I, like I'm hoping every night is going to be a special night. But uh, sometimes you know, I didn't use my chances, or I just don't want to go into the net. And uh, but as soon as you score right away, you know, 60 minutes left in the game, and uh, you already scored, it kind of give you energy, you know, emotional moments and. Uh, I think uh, your teammates thought, wow, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Give him a puck, you know, like he's, <laughs> yeah. he's going to, you know, he's feeling like he's going to score something. Now, 799 and 800, you get the hat trick. Talk about the celebration, not only on the ice with your teammates, the fans in Chicago, and then, of course, can't forget the beer bath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a special night. I was at uh, third player uh, only in He's turned the game uh, to score 800 goals. And uh, Holden Gretzky did it uh, before me. And uh, how I said that it's, uh, it was a special day, a special night. Uh, all my family, my mom, my dad, uh, two kids, you know, brother, uh, my, my wife, uh, they all uh, saw that on TV. And uh, it's uh, as soon as after the game, like, uh, I feel like I smell of beers and everything. <laughs> Uh, call, uh, yeah, call, call parents, call my wife, and uh, it was a very special and uh, emotional moment uh, for them as well. Alex, that's the smell of locker after every game, so uh, don't yeah, worry yeah. about that. Yeah. It, it was tremendous for us to have Mark and, and Marty Howe uh, on the air with us. What did it mean to you to have the support of the Howe family as you were moving closer and closer and eventually uh, going to pass Gordy Howe in goals? Yeah, um, I think it's uh, show you show respect from my uh, family to uh, myself or an organization and uh, maybe one day somebody going to be close uh, close enough like I'm going to reach out to him and uh, say hey keep going you know I'm, I'm watching you follow you and uh, you know it's uh, I would say it's uh, it's all about history um, you know those records uh, it's hard to uh, get close but when you pass those it's uh, it's a special take us to the home game against Winnipeg yeah, your typical goal right off the bat, and then the empty netter, your emotions with your family in the stands and all that type of stuff. Yeah, it was great. My two kids, my wife, um, you know, my, my friends, uh, you guys, fans, uh, everybody was a part of it. And uh, it's, uh, it's something that uh, uh, I will never forget. And it's a nice thing right now, like how you said, like you have to check cameras. Like right now it's on camera, it's uh, on the mic, and uh, everything is going to be like uh, in my house, in my, in my home. And uh, uh, once in a while, you know, <laughs> uh, after a couple of beers, you know, if you want to cry, you put it on and uh, start to uh, uh, remember this moment. Did you know Kuzi was going to give it back to you? I, like I was not, not, not shocked, but I thought like, Maybe he's gonna uh, because I own I like I own him uh, lots of uh, empty net as well because he gave me a, like a nice sausage pasta out there. But uh, you know, um, yeah, like I would never thought like he's gonna give him back. But it was pretty nice. Story. You've been mentioning family throughout our discussion here, and uh, it's been great to watch your son Sergey on the ice scoring goals in practice with you. Obviously, it runs in the family, but. Give us a sense for what mom and dad are saying back home. They've been with you here for so many of the other milestone goals, but give us the feeling for what mom and dad are saying back home. Uh, they was happy. They give everything what they can give it to me. Uh, when I was a little kid, a uh, teenager, and uh, became a professional uh, hockey player, athlete, uh, support, um, everything. So uh, for them it was uh, kind of relief not, not relief like uh, I know it, it's uh, it's not a when when we won the Stanley Cup it was total different feeling emotion but uh, you know, when you um, get closer to the record and when you hit that mark it's uh, you know for every parents uh, uh, it's it's pretty big 
I describe you as a fine bottle of wine. You get better as you get old. Uh, what's your secret to your fountain of youth? You're playing some of your best hockey ever, and you're 37 years old. Um, I'm just enjoyed, you know. Uh, I'm always say as soon as like I'm not gonna enjoy it, like I'm not gonna uh, lie to myself to that uh, to the game, and uh, especially for fans, you know, because uh, um, if you don't have that. Uh, fire in your eyes it's uh, uh, it's not good for you for your organization and uh, for your teammates as well so um, yeah I'm enjoyed like I, I can see the guys enjoy play with me and um, you know uh, it's it's pretty cool I go way back th some 30 years with the head coach of the Winnipeg Jets Rick Bonus way back to his time in the American Hockey League and I knew that he would have his team approach you after uh, the milestone goal what were the guys in the handshake line saying to you uh, just congrats. Um, I'm pretty sure, like every team, we've done it. Uh, it doesn't matter if you lose or lost or, or lose or win. Um, it's history, you know. It's uh, uh, it's kind of like uh, you growing up uh, knows all those big names, and if somebody in your team or um, your opposite uh, uh, team scored. Big, big numbers, big milestone. It's, uh, it's a special. You keep telling us we're taking it day by day, relax, <laughs> steady as she goes. Your job is to score goals, and you've always done it incredibly well. Do you ever let yourself sit there and go, maybe I can do 895? Uh, day by day. <laughs> Seriously, uh, it's too far. Um, you know, you remember when uh, I scored uh, 700, and then we start talking about. Already, uh, 895. We're like, oh Jesus, guys, come on, like, just, uh, relax. Right now, yeah, the same. You know, it's uh, 80 something goals left. You know, um, you just have to be patient. And uh, I'm always saying, like, if it's happening, it's happening. If not, um, it's uh, pretty big numbers as well. Seems like the team and yourself are in a good place right now. What can we expect over the next? say two to three years for yourself personally and this hockey club? Uh, you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, that's why I can say 100%. But uh, how I said, uh, I'm just enjoying my life. I enjoy uh, play hockey. And, um, you know, to see the uh, uh, fans and uh, everybody's happy, that's uh, number one priority. Right now. Alex, thanks very much for spending some time with us. It's an honor to watch you work, and it's a pleasure to describe it. Keep it up. Yeah, thank you, guys.